The saying goes, not your keys, not your coins, but one of the big challenges with self-custody is storing your private keys or your recovery phrase in a way that is both robust and resilient to damage, hopefully distributed in some way, but is also physically secure uh, against someone finding it. I've been a long time advocate of BIP39 passphrases as a good way to add a layer of security to your physical backups, but over the last couple of years, there have also been a number of sort of innovations where different vendors have been trying different things to sort of help solve this problem of uh, robustness, security, but also also to be able to keep things simple. So in this video, I'm just gonna be looking at the OneKey Lite, which is a smart card based recovery phrase backup solution that was sent to me by the nice people at OneKey. So let's get into it. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. So this is what we get in the box, you know, very simple, very small, thin enough to be able to post in an envelope. So let's open this up. All right, so this is everything that you get in the box. Basically, you just get a really quick getting started guide, which pretty much just shows you the screens you'll need to do in the OneKey app. So we'll need to get the OneKey app and do this on a phone. It's definitely mobile only. This is an RF blocking sleeve to store the OneKey Lite in, and this is the OneKey Lite itself. It's just a standard smart card, so it's the same size as any credit card that you might have. This looks incredibly simple, so let's get cracking. Okay, so we need this OneKey Blockchain and DeFi Wallet app. And look, I'll just click Create Wallet just for this demo. Okay, so from here, we can just click on the top left, and we'll say Wallet 1, and we'll just say Backup, and we'll say OneKey Lite. So verify password, so we'll do the password I had before. One key light pin. Okay, so this is gonna be the pin that we set for this device. And it's important to say, if you forget your pin, you cannot get it back. So I'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six. Backup complete. There we go. So you can back up, you can recover this wallet using this pin at all times. Got it. Okay. So what happens if I just tap that now? Does it do anything normally? No. So if I want to restore using this, so let's say I want to import a wallet and choose one key light. What's it gonna do? I'll recover the same one back. Recovery complete. Go to view. There we go. So that's actually imported the same wallet in a second time, which is funny. Most wallets won't let you have duplicates, but anyway, that was quick. So let's see what happens if we get the pin wrong. Oop, didn't like that. Let's just put in wrong pin 10 times. Your one key light has been reset. So now what happens if we try and restore even using the right pin? This device has no backup stored inside. So can we just put that backup straight back onto it? Backup complete. Here we go. So the other question is, can I back up this hardware wallet onto here at all? Because these don't have NFC. They say it's perfectly compatible with the following software. But what does that actually mean? Okay, here we go. So basically you can only communicate between the OneKey app and the OneKey Lite. You cannot communicate between the OneKey Lite and the hardware wallets. Okay, so the important distinction here to understand is while you can store any BIP39 uh, recovery phrase using the OneKey Lite, uh, you would need to enter that recovery phrase into the OneKey uh, Wallet app first, which is not something that you want to do for any sort of recovery seed that you are using on your hardware wallet, because you would effectively be turning it into a hot wallet. So the last question actually is whether the software running on this card is also open source. So let's just say light. One key marketing light, literal black, but that doesn't sound promising. Yeah, no, that's not it. So while pretty much everything else with OneKey is open source in terms of their hardware and their software, the actual firmware running on the Java card is not available, so the card itself is not open source. The functionality of the device itself is fairly limited, never mind the fact that you're only ever supposed to be using it with a hot wallet anyway, so the risk is fairly low. You know, it's no worse than just using a hot wallet to start with. And let's just see if there's anything else we can find out about this smart card. Oh yeah, they've zeroed out all of the CPLC stuff. This is just all generic stuff. Java card V2, okay. Let's see if they've locked it. Yeah, okay. Now, the last thing I'll quickly talk about is these RF locking sort of covers. And these are exactly the same as you get with any sort of credit card or whatever, except this one's all fun and rainbow and shiny, which is cool. Basically, if we put the card on there, you can see it scans straight away. Whereas if I put it in the sheath, 
we can see that the uh, blocker is doing its job. That's not going to scan at all. But the thing that's important to understand with these blockers is if your card is out a little bit, um, there you go. So that's actually scanned it, no problems at all. And that card was only sticking out by about a centimeter. So the important thing is to say that with these RF locking covers, if they get damaged or torn and you're missing part of it and the card is sticking out, you need to get a new one. They don't work if the card is showing outside of the pouch. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a very simple device. I still don't think that something like this takes the place of a physical backup of your seed. That said, for 20 bucks, it's actually really not a bad deal at all, especially if you're someone who is looking for a way to create a backup of your recovery seed for your hot wallet, something that's running on your mobile phone, but might not be able to store it in a way that can keep it secure. Just make sure you keep a backup somewhere of what the pin for this device actually is. If you're someone who's looking for a way to use smart cards to have secure and distributed backups for your recovery seed for a hardware wallet, uh, then the one Key light really isn't the kind of device you want to use because you have to import your seed into a phone. However, there are devices on the market like the Cypher Rock, uh, which I reviewed over here, that does allow you to securely uh, back up your recovery seed. If you think the One Key Light would help increase the security, convenience, or robustness of your backups, I uh, want to help me out in the process. I've got an affiliate link in the description. If you have any questions about the device itself, just leave a reply in the comment section. I do my best to reply to all of them. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.